Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Uh, this is your friend Sakib and today's talk topic which we are talking uh, going to uh, share knowledge on it is a Rojas compliant. So today's agenda is uh, why Rojas compliant, what is meant by the Rojas, what are the different restrictions in the Rojas substances restriction in the Rojas, what is meant by the Rojas with exemption, the product concerned with the Rojas directive and Rojas with the uh, uh, Rojas non-compliant penalties over there. So let us first uh, observe what is meant by the Rojas over there. So nowadays if you buy any electronics equipment, uh, it may be your uh, uh, computer, it may be your laptop or it may be a music system, your mobile phone, headphone, it may be the refrigerator, uh, it may be the air condition, uh, anything which you buy, okay, it should consist of this symbol over here. So that this all symbols are uh, regarding the Rojas compliant. Okay. Now let us see why Rojas compliant and what is meant by the Rojas compliant. So nowadays, you know, day by day, the technology is getting upgraded now ever then. And what we are doing, the old technology, we are making it scrap over there. So uh, one of the research says that between the year 2004 to 2018, there were near about 800 millions of computers were absoluted. Absoluted means they were outdated and it was scrapped and it was buried under the ground. Or you can say it is buried already buried in the landfills. Okay, so landfills. Now what happened if we buried this scrap into the landfill? It consists this electronics equipment or electrical equipment consists of an hazardous uh, uh, dangerous substances like a lead mercury cadmium and when we use this scrap uh, uh, scraps uh, to buried in a landfill this all toxic or dangerous components okay get mixed into uh, the environment okay so it has got a serious negative effect on the environment and in return it is going to uh, uh, affect our health human health also so uh, uh, in this case the rojas was introduced so what is rojas the rojas is uh, stands for a restriction of hazardous substances or you can say the component over here so the rojas certification aims to reduce uh, the restriction and the use of hazardous substances uh, to make the electrical and electronic production safer at all the stage so up to today there are three rojas which has been upgraded so the rojas one was introduced in market in the year 2002 and it got published or it, it came into effect with the 2006 in this rojas one they have restricted a uh, six hazardous substances okay these which are the six hazardous substances uh, this will be covered into the next slide over there then this rojas one was upgraded to the rojas two which was published in the year July 2001. So Rojas 2 is nothing but simple expansion of the scope of the Rojas 1. So in the Rojas uh, 2, they added some medical devices uh, uh, and monitoring and control instrument to its category. So these medical devices, some military equipment, monitoring and control instruments were not covered under the Rojas 1 that got covered in the year uh, under the rojas 2 after the year 2011 and now in uh, rojas 3 was introduced in market in the year called 2015 or you can say it was a uh, uh, bring into effective with effective uh, in the year july 2019 so rojas 3 added all the 11 categories over there which includes all the e vehicles uh, uh, e bikes uh, four wheelers uh, e cigarette etc etc now, the countries beyond the European territories, the uh, European regions uh, like China, Korea, India has also adopted. Means This means that without Rojas compliant, you can't sell any product in the market or you can't export or you can't import the products. Now, let us see which are the 10 hazardous substances which are restricted, okay, which are restricted over here. Now, here you can see sorry uh, so let me use a pain over here so here you can see there are a first six hazardous substances which are uh, restricted in the uh, rojas one 
so these are the first six substances which are restricted in the ROS1 which includes the lead which is used in the manufacturing or in the uh, manufacturing of soldering means uh, they are used for a soldering for uh, manufacturing the different PCB boards okay electronic PCB boards which are used in a uh, batteries the second which was uh, introduced that was a mercury which is we know that mercury is used in, in a measuring instrument like in a thermometer to measure the temperature body temperature atmospheric temperature and the mercury vapor lamps uh, or a mercury tube lights everything over which comes under the mercury the third substance which was restricted was uh, cadmium uh, so cadmium is used in, in a solar cell okay in leds and in many of the plating instrument over there then it was a uh, fourth uh, substances which was restricted is a hexa uh, hexavalent uh, chromium that is used in a welding or uh, in a plating it is used in the plating also the fifth and sixth uh, is nothing but a poly bromonate uh, bifolates uh, plomy bromonate that is uh, nothing but a pbb and pbde okay which is used in a manufacturing of a plastic instrument so which is added into the plastic material to increase the durability etc over there which is used for in a manufacturing of a tv bodies uh, monitors your remote using airplanes in your automobiles uh, etc etc so the first six uh, substances were restricted in the rojas one later on the rojas two as i told you is nothing but the expansion of a rojas one which includes only the milli, uh, medicals and some measuring uh, instruments over there in the rojas three the four new uh, substances were added which is known uh, uh, which is uh, known as a pathalates the pathalates are uh, substances which is ad again added into the plastic to convert the plastic into the flexible material into the hard material uh, so these are uh, used in the manufacturing of in a different pvcs okay pvcs and other plastic material which are used into the flexible plastic material uh, whatever the instruments which you are it is used as a resign in a polymer and uh, in a pvc which are used in the textile ink additives in perfumes etc etc so all these substances has been restricted by a 0.1 percent of the weight or we can say the thousand ppm except one that is called as a cadmium that is nothing but it has been restricted by 0.01 percent by the weight or you can say 100 ppm so all these substances has got some limitation above this restricted uh, threshold level you can't uh, increase this if uh, the quantity of any of this substance uh, uh, is going to cross the threshold level of this your uh, product you can't sell the product in the market or you can say that it is not rojas compliant okay now there is one term called as a rojas with an exemption so rojas means uh, the exemptions are the temporarily allowed restricted substance uh, to use into the certain application when an alternative alternative is not currently available in the market for example in the 2000 year when uh, we were using a sodium uh, mercury vapor lamp over there for as a street light in those days the leds uh, street lights were not available so there was no alternative over there so the sodium vapor uh, lamp or uh, you can say the mercury lamps were allowed for the manufacturing and for the selling and for the production purpose okay but nowadays we have got an uh, alternate for a mercury vapor lamp for a street light we can use a led which is totally 100 uh, percent uh, mercury free, free over there so up to now the, it was under the exemption now you can't use it so this is the best example then another uh, uh, so exemption are designed to allow uh, uh, designed to allow or a gradual phase of an a hazardous substance and a time to find the alternate uh, substance of it okay so that was uh, rojas with exemption so uh, for example one of the best example is the led so to change the color of led you require the cadmium okay so uh, still now there is no alternate for that so it, it comes under the exemption so whatever your led tvs or production or uh, colorful lights over there so they are still allowed uh, for to use of those kind of led as long as there is a no alternate so this is mean rojas with exemption now we were talking about the 11 categories which was covered under the 
Rohas 3. So category 1 which consists of a large a household appliances already this was under the Rohas 1 which consists of in a commercial refrigerator, air conditions etc. Category 2 which consists of a small household appliances which is like a air filter, your fan uh, or any <coughs> air filter, fan, water purifier etc etc. Uh, category 3 which consists of in a computing and co communication equipments like a computer, your server, your printer, satellite TVs, phones etc. Uh, category 4 consists of in a consumer electronics like a TV, display, stereo, video, cameras etc. Category 5 consists of a lightning which consists of a light, uh, LED bulbs, uh, LED tube light uh, etc. Uh, category 6 which consists of a power tool like a drill machine, hammer, uh, cutter over there or a nail guns, uh, uh, zig saw etc. Category 7 consists of a toys and sports equipments which consists of in a video game, hand video game, treadmill uh, uh, etc. over there. Category 8 which covers uh, medical equipments. Uh, uh, so all medical equipment comes under the category 8. Category 9 uh, that is monitoring and control. Uh, equipment uh, which consists of an a thermostat uh, which is used in the refrigerator air condition then a smoke detector fire alarm uh, uh, so this all includes an industrial application over there and um, category 10 which consists of an automatic uh, dispenser which is nothing but your ATM machine uh, or a vendor machine everything and the category 11 which was already covered into the Rojas 3 which consists your latest equipments like or uh, uh, electrical vehicles e-cigarette or uh, e-bikes e-cycles all or uh, electrical cables which we are using for an a uh, wiring purpose over there uh, so all this comes under the Rojas 1 2 and 3 and all this equipment in this equipment we can't uh, use a uh, hazardous substances up to the uh, uh, above the defined threshold uh, point that is 0 0.1 of uh, or 100 ppm or 1000 ppm whatever it is now what if your product is uh, suppose if you are manufacturing if you are developing any device or any electronics equipment and if it is not rojas compliant uh, what will happen so in this case the committee uh, or uh, committee member will uh, 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 will give you the notice through the legally notice that your product is not uh, Rojas compliant and it should be compliant. Uh, in this notice spread, what you are supposed to do, you have to represent all the documents regarding the design, manufacturing and uh, everything over quality inspection, all the documents re regarded your product. So the committee may uh, go into the market, they will pick up your physical samples or devices from the market, they can take, take your uh, all the equipments to the lab they will uh, do all the research over it and they will find which of the hazard substance uh, substances you are using more than the threshold level and etc if uh, your uh, product is not rohans compliant uh, the committee can uh, remove the product from the market over there so that will be again or a negative brand uh, repetitions over there and the last one uh, which is uh, you have to pay the penalty the penalty depending upon the region country to country it may vary so the most of the common that uh, penalty is that the number of product which you have sold okay so that amount you have to pay as a uh, as a penalty or the number of um, product which you have manufactured which you have sold over this and the large cost which uh, uh, which that is uh, nothing but uh, uh, putting in a hazardous substance into the electric can be resolved into the impact of an uh, environment and that environment can impact uh, on the human health that is the most important uh, so uh, so uh, thank you very much uh, so whatever the question if you have got uh, regarding the rojas compliant you can uh, place into the uh, comment box over here for my